Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a custom leaderboard in Roblox. And it also displays your stats. So, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so, I already made my GUI. You should probably make your own GUI. Just, just so it looks, make it look nice. This is not that nice. It doesn't look that good. It's pretty basic. Anyone can do it. Um... So, yeah, I, ju I just have a screen GUI and starter GUI, and I just made this frame. Um, prefer preferably, you would probably want to use a scrolling frame, so it can ex if you have a lot of players in the game, you can scroll through the leaderboard, and you can see everyone. Um, yes, so, let me show you what I did. And if you want to get the free model of this, what what's what let's get 10 likes on this video and if we get 10 likes i will give everyone the free model so like the video and let's go so now what you got to do after you made your your frame after you made your players list i just made i just made the frame called main because it's holding pretty much everything that i'm going to use this is the the player's uh, frame. I just made it transparent. This is it. I just it's just a fr another frame inside of the of this frame that holds everything. And I you don't have to do this part. It's just like I just wanted to add a little extra to it. It's just player details, so you can display their stats. It's just in this like frame. So, and there's this template right here that I have. This is gonna, sh this holds the player's name and their image. And it's put inside of a text button. It has a UI text size constraint to hold the size to a minimum, maximum value. I just set it to like 130 works. And, and yeah, so, I also have a image, and there's a local strip in, in that image. If you want to add an image, this is the code. You can also find it on the Roblox uh, online. Search up how to do it, how to make an image, uh, how to show the player's image on an image label. You'll find this. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty understandable. It's just, you're just telling it that you want to make a picture of their head right here. And then you're setting the size of the thumbnail in the picture, on the picture. Then right here, you're just saying, you're just passing in their ID and the rest of the stuff. This right here makes the image, this line right here. Now I'm parenting it to my image and then I'm sizing my image label. But you got to do this for yourself because you got to customize it to fit what you want. This is what I did. Um, so, I have I have a module script right here that does all the heavy lifting. It it does. Um, it adds my template that I have in my in, inside of this script. It's in this module script. It's gonna clone that when when the game begins well when they uh join the game and this renders and this run service stepped just it just means that a frame is this whatever is inside of this of this line that will run every frame um so this that players I'm just copying my template and I'm 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 just naming it right here the player's name, the parent's name. I'm parenting it to the player's full uh frame so it will show up here. So this is all I did. Yeah. So 
you gotta pause it if you want to write it down and if we get 10 likes uh, I'll give everyone the free model but it's not gonna help you if you if you don't you know if you don't try to do it yourself you maybe you'll learn something new anyways and inside and on top of this main module script I have a, a local script that just loads it in so it doesn't load in like be too or that, so we just we wait for it to load in just to know that we it loaded in I don't think this isn't completely necessary but I just did it anyway Um, yeah, I did it so I can wait for the, for everything in, in the main module script and the template inside of it. So, yeah, you should probably add that, too. Um, I made a leaderboard, well, leader stats in, in the server script service. This is a regular script. And you can make this whatever you want. I just like using cash. But you, you can have as many values as you want. And yeah, so that's that's it. That's how you make the leaderboard, uh, the custom leaderboard. Um, if you want to add, this is like a little bonus. If you want to add like the stats, like I had it so like if you click on their name, it'll show you their stats. So I just did cash, and their cash will show as long as well as their name. So it says, so whenever their cash in their player changes, so whenever the ca player's cash changes the value, this text will update to whatever it is. That's all it does. Yeah. So, that's it. Um, oh, and I have one more script right here inside of this button. There's a button right here that I have. The, the player, the player uh, name button. button where the but I made it a button so I can click on it. And, yeah, I put a script in it. So when it's clicked on, I just want to show the player's stats, their info. So I just made, I just got the frame with the variable. And I made it visible. And I, I set the player name in, the, in their cache right here. Inside of the, va of the value. But, keep in mind, it's not going to work for you if, if you have a different setup. Because you gotta you gotta adjust the scripts if if you want it to work completely for you if you if if it's exactly like this it'll work because your your order of uh your hierarchy might be this different the way you list your things will be different um so yeah so I'll test it real quick oh nope. I gotta put my template back in my main module script. Remember, if you don't have it there, it's gonna not, it's not gonna work. Always have your template inside the module script because that's where we're accessing it from. So, start. I'm gonna test it with multiple. I'm gonna start a local server with two players. Well, I just wanna show you that, but it w works with multiple players. And it does. The image is not showing up because it this is it's just not gonna work if you test it like this. But if you play an actual game, like these are not real players. But that's why it doesn't say my username. It's just player one and player two, they don't have an image. Um but if you click on one, it'll show you their cache. Player two's cache, one thousand, player one has a thousand too. But yeah. That's how you do it, guys.
Hope this helped you. Once again, get 10 likes, free model for everybody. So, like the video. Um, join the Discord server. If you join the Discord server, I'll give you the free model anyway. Even if we don't have 10 likes, I'll give you the free model anyway. Make sure if so you can join the Discord server and subscribe. And yeah, I'll give you it. So, thanks for watching. The Discord server will link invite invitation will be in the description. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.